So we're looking here for detail and now we're going to go over here to the 1000 and we can see a much greater amount of detail and clarity. Hi guys, I'm Phil from Foxtech. And I'm Darren. Okay, today I'm going to talk about a new monitor. This is the 7 inch Explorer monitor which has a very good feature of a screen with a thousand lumina and a sunshade, which together works in extreme sun conditions. Wow, so, that's quite a good feature that you can directly use this one under strong sunlight without losing any detail. Yeah, quite very, helps. very good feature. Yeah. And, we'll, and we'll demonstrate that feature outside shortly. Sure. We come over top here, we see two antennas. This is a 5.8 gigahertz, 32 channel dual receiver with receiver diversity and a negative 90 dBm. Oh, quite impressive. So why we need a diversity in the receivers? Because uh, when we fly, especially the racing quad through the obstacles, there's always a signal getting stronger and weaker. So we need a diversity in the monitor to tell, tell the monitor which one to show. So you can switch in between the two receiver modules. A quite good feature and also well minus 90 dBm sensitivity makes a lot of a lot more range uh, compared with uh, normal the maybe the minus uh, 85 is much better. Mm -hmm. We go to the back of the monitor and we have our normal inputs and outputs but we also have an HDMI input. Uh, I'm going to hit on that one. This is a quite important feature because uh, nowadays we are switching from the analog to HDMI oh. video. Oh, yeah. uh, for example, the DJI Phantom and the Inspira all have the HDMI output on the radio. So you can use this one as a special, very bright, good monitor for, um, for your Phantom or Inspire because uh, this shows much clearer, much brighter image compared with your iPhone or iPad. That's right. We move downward, we can see the power. There's a very wide power range of input here. Yeah, from 9 watts to 19 watts. So you can directly use the 3S or 4S little battery, mm -hmm. very popular batteries. That's right. And talking about batteries, this particular monitor has a built-in battery, which gives approximately two hours of usage mm, time. Enough. That's yeah. enough, yeah. And we come down and we have the tripod connection point. Yeah. Apart from mounting on the tripod, we can also use a special monitor mounting on our radio to mount the monitor on the radio. Because the monitor is 7 inch, not very heavy, not very so you don't have a lot of weight on your hand. But it still feels comfortable. Mm -hmm. Oh. This speaker is a good feature. Yeah, so you can hear the beautiful noise from your plane. It's very important, yeah, very true. Because you, you need right. the noise, the propeller, noise from propeller. You can hear the noise so you can tell how good they are working. And performance is, yeah, you want to make sure the performance is good. Yeah, that's right. We have over here the 32 GB mini SD card, which is used by the DVR feature. This particular DVR saves to three quality settings, which is normal, fine, and super fine. There are also three resolution options. This is D1, a VGA, and a QVGA. It helps with the recording time. If you want a long recording time, you can choose the lower quality, lower resolution, so you can record a quite long time. That's right. Now we're going to talk about the auto searching ability of this particular 7 inch monitor. Now here is the Fox the Warrior Grissom quadcopter with the built in camera and the transmitter. What I'm going to do is just power it on and then we'll switch to the RF or DVR function first. Mm -hmm. Then uh, there's the button for the auto channel right, scanning. Right there. Very convenient. And as long as soon as I connect the battery, the camera and transmitter are starting to work. Yep. It's in auto searching mode it's right auto now. Searching. So within half a minute, maybe less. We can directly see the image. I'm still waiting. Still, still searching. Oh, and there's the image. The image is coming out. So it saves a lot of time. You can see uh, our cameraman. You, you don't need to <laughs> switch be between the band and the frequencies. Yeah. And it's very easy then to move to DVR mode and start recording that input. Yeah, that's right. So a cool feature. Cool feature, saving time. So, oops. the new monitor is the 1000 Lumina with the 15 millisecond response. And uh, at this point, you can see the 500 uh, Lumina. So, oops. 
got the sunshade. So 500 and 1000 here side by side. Yeah, uh, obviously the 1000 Lumina one is much better. I can see a lot about detail inside because it's a lot brighter. I can even use this one as my guidance monitor while I just watch it and fly FPV with that recent quad. And uh, this is the Foxtech Explorer 7 1000 Lumina. I hope you like it and uh, enjoy some fly with this monitor. Yep. I'm going to do a real, real close to the ground fly. Let's try that. 